Hey Tommy, this is, look, look we're using almost 900. Uh, and we're not even gonna make it to the next supercharger, dude. Yeah, we just got back onto the interstate, Interstate 80, going to Rollins, and at, at this consumption, I mean, we're pretty much not gonna make it. So uh, before we go on our journey to Portland, I think we have to put a sticker. Yeah. But more importantly, we have to take the rooftop tent off because we ran some tests and what happened? Yeah, I drove it home on the highway at 55, 60 miles an hour. We were just drawing too much power to the point where we probably wouldn't make it to Portland. Um, and I think it's largely due to aero. Yeah, how much were we drawing? Like 640. Yeah, and with that much consumption, we would have to probably drive at 55 miles an hour for the next 25 hours. How much longer is it gonna take to go using an electric car versus using a traditional ice car. Well, it should be about 19 and a half hours if we use a gas car. Yeah. Um, using an electric car, it's going to be closer to 27, 28. Wow. So that tent would make it 29. Yeah. <laughs> Potentially. Hey, Andre, can you help us to get it off? Yeah, it should be very easy. Just four uh, knobs and that's it. All right, let's, let's take it off. Today on the Fastlane Car and today on the Tesla Adventure X Series, we're turning our Model X into a plug-in hybrid. Well, well Tommy, um, Alex and I spent many, many hours fitting this and testing yeah, it. I it's know. Kind of, it's kind of a shame. But look at the issue here. I mean, we've got a little bit of, well, it's not exactly a sweat profile here, but we've got a little bit of a sweep and then yes. it's like conk. <laughs> Like two feet and straight Another up. punk? Yeah, so for aerodynamics, it doesn't get much worse. It's actually 18 inches, Tommy. Is it? 18. Okay, 18. It's amazing how much energy. So you're saying 640 watt hours per mile yeah. versus like 500. Yeah, so there's like a huge difference there. Oh. Roman, here's my solution. Yeah, you're going old school, dude. <laughs> I mean, it'd be great to have that, but it's not worth another two hours. This is literally what you'd have to do, right? You'd have to slow down and you'd have to charge more often. I mean, these are things that people with, you know, a Land Cruiser over there or a Land Rover can handle easily. It can handle easily. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Or a truck. Can you clarify what you mean, though? Because the, the issue is there's two people trying to sleep in this. Yes. That are unrelated. So, of course, you can sleep one inside the camper. This is just for the second videographer. One last thing, Tommy, before we hit the road. We need to put the screen up so we don't use as much air conditioning. All right, here we go. How many miles is this all together, Tommy? It's like 1,200. So here's what is so cool about the Better Route Planner is not only can you plug in, for example, a higher watt hour per mile if you're towing a trailer, for example, but you can actually change the arrival goal. So we're set at 10% and then it'll tell you exactly how long you have to stop at each supercharger, how much it's going to cost and how far it is apart. You can see that we never go more than about 100 and, well, 148 miles in between superchargers. And you can see this stretch here, we can only go 69 miles an hour if we're going to make it. So. Let's see how long our trip is going to be. It's 1,211 miles yeah. from Boulder. It's going to take... 19 hours. 19 hours, and we're going to be charging for 6 hours and 50 minutes. So 19 hours plus 6 hours and 50 minutes is, you know, 26 hours. Yeah, that's a long, long time. So basically it's going to take us 7 hours more to do it in an electric vehicle than it would to do it in a regular vehicle. Right, exactly, if our calculations are right. Yeah, and uh, if we're at... If we're at like 71%, I may just skip it and go to the one in Cheyenne. No, don't do that. Why? Because this is optimized to spend as little time as possible charging. Seven hours is optimized to spend as little time as possible. Of course. It's also not uh, considering that we'll charge hopefully overnight. Yeah, that's true. So that, I but think there's no way to plug if, that in. If you go to Cheyenne, right, yeah. you're still going to have to stop in Laramie. Yeah, I get that. But I'm saying this this seven hour thing isn't considering that hopefully overnight we can charge the thing up fully. No, that, fully that's charged. true, but that doesn't help us till tonight. At this point, you know, I think let's play it by ear a little bit. See what the number we're getting versus the number that the better route planner gets. But I want to, you know, spend as little time as possible driving as, nor as somebody else would. You know, seven hours charging is going to be just 
really painful. Look, the point is, Dan, is the Tesla system is, in my opinion, even less accurate in this case than Federal Planner because you can't account for a trailer whatsoever. So this is the best tool we have right now. It's completely free. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, I'm sorry if I'm, you know. You, you sound grumpy. I am. I'm very grumpy. I'm a grumpy old man at this point because right now I'm looking at, you know, spending 27 hours driving to Portland where if I just had a regular car, I could do it in 19. Well, yes, but that's why we're doing this. Yeah, I know. So don't, I can't have you be grumpy for 26 hours. I'm not going to be grumpy for 26 hours, but uh, I, I, I'm not going to be over the moon that I'm going to have to spend seven more hours sitting behind the wheel uh, than, necess than necessary because we've got an electric car. And I think a lot of people out there will actually understand that. You know, if you want to compete, if you want to compete as an electric vehicle with pickup trucks, with the Ford F-150, right? where people aren't towing 2,000 pounds, but people are towing 10,000 pounds, right? And they're doing it on a daily basis for work and for play, then adding, what is it, how much, what percent? 30% to their uh, commute time or their towing time is not gonna work. It's just not. People aren't gonna put up with it. Why would you? Why would you, why would you spend more money on an electric vehicle that takes you longer and does less? It doesn't make sense in my book. And yeah, maybe I'm grumpy, but I think that's real and I think the people out there will understand that. Alright, so enough being grumpy. There are some really good things about towing with a Tesla. First and foremost, it's instant torque. I mean, pulling onto the highway, I could keep up with a Ferrari, even towing a 2,000 pound trailer. You know, there is no tail wagging the dog driving this Tesla. I mean, it's just dead straight, dead, calm, dead, stable, no trailer sway whatsoever. Um, it feels very comfortable and um, yeah, it tows well. I mean, as a, as, a, as a towing rig, all the torque in the world makes it much easier. So there is one thing we can definitely trust though, and that is this number right here. So these are our range projections for five miles, 15 miles, and 30 miles. And the farther we go, the more accurate this is gonna be. So our projected range, with 270 miles according to the cluster is really going to be closer to 154. Yeah, about half. All right, so we've cut our range in half yeah. pulling a trailer. About half. Which is better than pulling that horse trailer because with that thing we cut it by two thirds. Yeah, right. And it's probably good that we took that tent off uh, because that would have gotten us into horse trailer range. It was sticking up so high over the top of the car. Yeah, for sure. It's just so unaerodynamic. But I am doing the speed limit, Tommy, so I'm doing 75. I'm not I'm not making any concessions right now to electric car towing. I figure that will change as we go down the highway, but right now I'm still doing the speed limit. I saw that I had the, we had the radio on, but uh, the car just went into emergency braking all its own for no particular reason. Luckily, the guy behind me wasn't too close, but it just all of a sudden hit the brakes when we were passing this California van. Really weird. Okay, so we are 1.7 miles from our first stop, which is only like 35 miles from where we started. Now, let me just show you kind of how useless the Tesla system is. Uh, the Tesla system said we would have been there with 81%, even though it knows we're towing because we've got the trailer symbol on, it's still way over calculated and it says we'll be there with 73. But Better Route Planner actually did work a little bit more accurately. Let's take a look here. It'd be nice if it was integrated into the car, which it isn't. Um, it says we were going to be in Loveland with 71% and that might be spot on. We did leave with 96, not 95 though. So. So far it's going all right, and apparently we're supposed to charge here for 12 minutes. There it is, I see him. Hey, maybe, we, oh, we can't, we're gonna have to unhook. Oh, maybe not. Mm. Maybe we can just pull in. Wouldn't that be cool if we're only gonna be here for 12 minutes? That would make me really happy if I didn't have to unhook. Oh, yeah, wait, I, there is one. Where? Far end. Wow, see, so, I'm just blocking all these other cars with my trailer. <laughs> but yeah, I can just pull into this one, look at that. Look at that, I don't have to back up into it. I'll be darned. Okay, well it's not entirely brilliant because we're blocking the whole road and we're also blocking all of these guys. But look, it is a Poland supercharger, so we don't have to untuck. 
Okay, so first stop here, the better route planner was correct. It said we'd be here with 71, we were here with 72. So our prediction is pretty spot on. How fast is this charging? 198 miles per hour, 59 kilowatts. That's not great. 59 kilowatts is pretty slow. Well, yeah, but there's a reason for that. Yeah, because we're full. Yeah, because we're near full. Yeah, that's the problem. That's why you want to charge when you're almost empty. Oh, well, trust me, from here on out, we'll be almost empty. So we're going to be you know used that, to that. that Porsche Taycan I just covered? Yep. It's supposed to charge at 250 kilowatts. I think the new Tesla system is, is close to that, too. Yeah. The new, the version 3. Yeah, we're way off that. So what's your name? Courtney. And what's your last name, Courtney? Van Hooser. All right, and you got a brand new... Tesla Model X. I love the black. I love the black Thank wheels. You. How long have you had it? Um, we took delivery in July. Okay. And you came here from Oklahoma. Yes. So how do you like road tripping in a Tesla? Are you used to supercharging? Um, it's a little different. I will say my husband likes it a lot more. Yeah. Um, he likes getting having to stop and get out and walk around. Yeah. I am a little bit more impatient. I'm, I'm like you. I want to get there. <laughs> it normally takes me nine and a half hours to get up to this area. Uh -huh. It took me 15 yesterday. Oh. Um, and then you add, it's storm, so we had a chance of hail, and being from Oklahoma, I'm kind of a weather nerd. Yeah. And being responsible for my husband's car, oh, um, yeah. I hid, there was um, out of order gas pumps, and I parked there so I could make sure I wasn't gonna yeah, have hail yeah. on my Brand solid new. glass roof. So, yeah. um, a little nerve wracking, but I love the space, it's super comfortable. Do you, um, do you like the uh, falcon wing doors? I do. Okay, because yeah. I, I have kind of a mix, Bag. You know, sometimes I love them because they look cool, but sometimes I'm banging my head on them. Um, of course, I'm a little taller. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't had that problem yet. Um, but yeah. yeah. So, uh, so, what's your favorite thing about it? The comfort, the yeah. look. Yeah. Um, I mean, Oklahoma doesn't have a lot of X's. Yeah. Uh, my husband and his business partner bought theirs a week apart, so we have a white one yeah. and a black one. Both Model X. Mm -hmm. Okay. All so right. we so, have we have black with white interior. He has white with black interior. Cool. Um, little reversal there. And you're wearing the t-shirt. So, I know. So you gotta be a, you gotta be a fan girl a little bit. I do. Um, I love it. I'm a, I like to be green, um, which is not a very Oklahoma thing. We're very behind, so. Do you, feel, um, do you feel, you know, we usually don't like to do this because we're, you know, reviewing the car, not the politics of it, but do you feel better driving an electric car? I do. Um, so, and that was one of the things I liked about it so much. Uh, I'm a very save the planet, save the animals kind of thing. Last question, you know, we're trying to see if a Tesla will work like a truck, right? Okay. And one of the things a truck has to do is tow. Mm -hmm. So, when the electric truck comes along, which it will, there's Rivian, there's a Tesla, Ford says they've got an electric F-150, yeah. are you going to go electric when the pickup comes along? Yeah. Alright. So, um, we'll see what happens. Feels like I've been here for not a long time. So Tommy, shall we hit the road and finally get some miles? Yeah, so what I'm doing actually is keeping track of exactly how long we've been where. Yeah. So we've been charging at this one for 14 minutes. Okay. So let's go ahead and unplug. Right. We drove 47 minutes to get here. Alright. Okay, pull it. There we go. Now here is going to be the hard part to yeah. Laramie. We should be there with just 10% battery. So yeah. hopefully our predictions are right. We can have lunch there, huh? Yeah, uh-huh. How much were we supposed to be at? 85% leaving here? Uh, yeah. We're at 86%, so we went up one more than we needed to. Yeah, which is probably a good thing. Our last supercharging session in Loveland gave us 14% charge into the battery and cost us $3.12, so we're going to keep track of the cost as well. You know, if we had waited two weeks to buy this, supercharging would be free. Yeah, that's frustrating. Yeah, that is frustrating. So I think if Tesla is to seriously make a pickup truck that's designed for work, for hauling, for towing, they're going to have to incorporate some kind of towing mode into the actual predictions for the range and for the navigation. Because I could see Tesla coming out with a pickup truck designed to carry surfboards that's big, fast, and looks cool. But if you're actually going to use it for work, for towing, like a lot of people use pickup trucks for, especially you viewers out there, then they're going to have to incorporate this. You, you can't go to some third party yeah, but source. They're not going to do that, right? Because that's not what Musk wants, right? What Musk wants is something that's fast, looks cool. Uh, and, um, you know, has a pickup truck body. Hey, Tommy, you know what I don't get? You know, we're passing hundreds of gas stations. Why aren't, like, some of these gas stations putting electric chargers into one of their places? But gosh, I would love to just stop and get a drink. You know, I, I would think that you could make money just on getting people to stop there for 45 minutes and buy stuff at your gas station, but not one, it's mind-boggling, has put an electric charger 
and a Shell and an Exxon and a Diamond Shamrock. Why not? It just seems common sense to me. They're selling, what, 250,000 Model 3s a year now? But it's still less than 2% of the automotive market. So it's yeah. going to be, the projections are it's going to be 10% or then 50%. No, I think you're right, but I mean, I just, I don't see the incentive for them there. So the, the shortcut's turning out to be very hilly and really eye-opening in terms of electric car towing because we've gone exactly 50 miles and we have burned through 140 range miles. Yeah. So pretty much at this space, if we were to keep this hilly pace up, we would have to charge every less than every 100 miles. Yeah, every for an hour and something. So for every 100 miles we drive, figure that takes about an hour and a half. We'd have to charge for at least an hour. So the better route planner actually did not have us going this way, but Tesla and Google recommended we do because it's much shorter. But I mean, check this out. 31 miles to our destination. At our 30 mile projection, we have a 44 mile range. So we'd have, what, 13 miles to spare? 14 yeah. miles to spare? Yeah. We've been averaging 907 watt hours per mile over the last 30 miles, which is really bad. Yeah. Really, really bad. We may have to slow down even. All right, we've, we've got, been gone less than an hour and a half, and my anxiety is already through the roof. Let's see, look at the trip. Look how useless a Tesla trip planner is. Um, we, that gap right there represents how wrong it is, essentially. Uh, it says we're going to be there with 30. Initially, it was like 40-something. It's going to be like, I don't know, 5 or 10. Hey, we're in Wyoming. Woo, Wyoming! You made it one state. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> we made it one state. How many more do we have to go? Many. Not that many. Idaho, right? Yeah, we got to go Utah, Idaho, Oregon. The other choice we have is turn around, supercharge, turn, head back, hook it up to the Land Cruiser and just drive all night. Because even that might be faster than, than this now. Because right now, we're basically getting less than 100 miles of range towing this trailer for a full charge. Yep. I mean, so, so, so we drive an hour and a half and we charge an hour. We drive an hour and a half and we charge an hour at this rate. That's not doable. Nope, it would be a 48 hour trip. It would, it would, we'd get there like on Sunday. Well, here we are going down a little bit, so maybe we'll, you think we'll recoup some of this? Not really. Why not? Because then it comes we'll go back uphill again. This doesn't count, this little tiny downhill. Well, we'll see. I mean, we're, you know, we're buckle in, in for a dime, in for a dollar. So we just went into yellow, which means we're under 25%. And the reality of this trip is starting to really bite. Basically, we're going to be driving for the next 24 hours. It is, so it's it's about noon right now. We have about 24 and a half hours to go. We have to be there tomorrow evening. What, what's there? Looks like a hotel. Any restaurants? I don't know. Well, I don't see any of you. There's no restaurants. There's this hospice. Great. I'm going to need that by the end of this trip. Yeah, I don't see any restaurants. Why don't we just, you know, get something, bring it there, and then we can eat there versus having to stop again and increasing our, you know what I mean? It incre if, if we eat there while we're waiting for it to supercharge. Well, I agree. Well, look, look, there's a sign for McDonald's coming up. Yeah, so that's what I'm thinking. Lunch of champions here. Yeah, nothing else. We're kind of stuck. You said our car just fell off, Tommy. This, uh... Look, look, it's like, oh! Whatever that is, it's falling off. It's this, it's this thing, it's supposed to be... The door trim? I wonder if that means it'll leak. You see, it's supposed to be stuck there somehow. Oh, it fell off, yeah, look at that. All right, we got McDonald's, Tommy. Yep. So we can eat while we supercharge. And uh, hopefully this is not one where we have to unhitch. But I can't believe there'd be a lot of Teslas here. Maybe even if it is one, maybe we could just kind of drive up and take a couple spaces. Right. I mean, we'll play it by ear, but let's see what this one's like. What if this thing is out of order? All of it? That would be a disaster. Then we're screwed. We'd have to find like a charge point or something. If there is one in Larry. Then we call Andre. Then we call Andre, yeah, exactly. Bring the Land Cruiser. With the trailer. Yeah, that's all we do at that point. Oh, nope, there they are. <laughs> yeah, how many Teslas are gonna be here at Laramie? Well, oh, there, one. there is one and he is blocking it. And he's not charging. 
He's blocking the, the pull-in? Yeah, he's blocking the pull-in. Okay, so there's a guy just sitting in a Model X, not charging in the pull-in spot where we need to go. My dad's gonna ask him uh, if we can borrow it because otherwise we'd have to unhitch the trailer, which we may still have to do. Well, so, so he's a really nice guy. Yeah. And uh, his car is bricked. Bricked? Yeah, he's updating his software and it's bricked right now. Oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull in here and see if I can just do it this way. Yeah, let's just take 20 spots, I guess. Yeah, we'll just take all the spots. And then if someone else comes, hopefully they'll have a space or we can move it. Hey Scott, so um, what happened to your car? Well, I decided to update it right here <laughs> while I was waiting and it's not updated yet. So you're, so you're until kind of, it's updated, you're stuck. I'm stuck. And it told me I was supposed to move before I updated, and I neglected to do that. So how long have you had your Model X? Oh, let's see. I've had it over a year now. Okay, you like it? Oh, I love it. Yeah? Absolutely love it. How, how far are you going? How far I'm you... just, I'm from Wellington. I just came up here to drop another car off. Okay. And, uh... So you, you, you're not doing I'm a long just, road trip? I'm just waiting. Yeah, the car that we, the other car that we had with us yeah. had a breakdown and it's being fixed now. And it, that's all done. I thought, well, while that, I'll get it supercharged and at the same time, I'll update it. How, how is it due on terms of kind of what the car says and the real mileage? Are you getting what the car <laughs> says or is that being oh, silly? Which, which, what do you mean by what the car says? Well, there's, there's like electric, thing, there's electric car miles and then there's real miles. Okay, there's one thing on the inside. Yeah. There's the one clear to the left. Yep. That's, that's the one. I'm sorry, but that's BS. Yeah, I agree. All right, so at the supercharger, we are supposed to, according to the Better Air Planner, charge to, let's see here, do, 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 plan routes, 74%, which is supposed to take 32 minutes. Currently, we are at, we're charging here, 28%. So let's see how long it takes us to get to 74%. We are charging at 139 kilowatts, though, which is very fast, so 465 miles an hour. Really great stuff. Even though we were taking up one, two, three, four different bays, there's actually one, two, three, and then four where that gentleman is still available. So not taking up everything. So dad, do you see the guy in the Tesla in front of us? Yeah. He's cleaning his windshield with the, his own squeegee. Yeah. And his own Windex thing. Yeah. And that's because yeah. you don't stop at gas stations. The best part about supercharging is, dad, you can take a nap, right? In our Boreas XT trailer. Well, you say there's a problem though. It's gonna be hot there. No. Holy cow. You can't even go in there. I'd say it's like 99, 100. I mean, you could turn on the fan. Yeah, but open up the thing, turn yeah, on the fan. Turn on the, yeah. It's a little toasty. And the worst part is, so we're not actually drawing any power from the Tesla, we had to turn off our fridge, so we don't even have our cold fridge going. We are at, ah, 74%. Let's give it uh, a couple more percent. Give it a couple more just to be just, safe. Just to be on the safe side, yeah. I, I, you know, I'd rather sit here bored then on the highway terrified. <laughs> <laughs> Given the choice of the two. So our last route was horribly inefficient. 748 watt hours per mile to get to, from Loveland to Laramie. So far we're at $9.48. Holy cow, that supercharger handle is hot. All right, so in total, you wanna know how long we spent here? Yeah. 42 minutes. Hey Tommy, this is, look, look, we're using almost 900 uh, and we're not even going to make it to the next supercharger, dude. Yeah, we just got back out to the interstate, interstate 80, going to Rollins, and at, at this consumption, I mean, we're pretty much not going to make it. I'm doing 73, speed limit 75. Yeah. Uh, if we go to the five mile timestamp, which is about how long we've been on the highway, yeah. Projected range, 80 miles. We're not going right to make it a supercharger. 89 miles to get to the supercharger. And, and we're only in like the very beginning of our trip at this point. All right, well, let's let's keep going. But, uh, you know, sometimes you have to do it the hard way to learn. And I think we're learning. We're learning. If we could make it, we'd have to go 10 miles below the speed limit and, and we'd have to probably basically charge for an hour and then drive for an hour and a half. Well, the issue is we have to be in Oregon tomorrow night for the event, right? Yeah. So. Yes. Um, That's another issue. Well, 
yeah, for both of your event and my event too. Yeah. yeah so so let, let me plug in Cheyenne. See if we can make it to Cheyenne. Maybe you can jump in the uh, Land Cruiser, bring it up to us. We'll swap cars and then we'll just continue in the Land Cruiser. Well, uh, let me put Zach on the line. Hold on. Uh, I'm struggling. They, they cannot make it. You can't make it. What's going on, guys? So Zach, can you jump in the Land Cruiser and come up meet us in Cheyenne, please? We're gonna need a couple things though. What are we gonna need? Well, we're gonna need the toolbox. Why? Because we, we're gonna have to mess with the hitch. Okay. Because the hitch is a lift right now, we'd have to make it a drop. Okay. Yeah, uh, Alex and I had to do that the last time we put it on the Land Cruiser, so I'll bring the tools for that. Guys, what about that section from Salt Lake up to Idaho? That's about 140 miles plus. If you can only go 90 miles, you won't there's impossible to make it. Well, we use 60% of our battery to go 82 miles. Yeah, I don't think we can make it. Uh, I don't. I'm, I, I don't think. No. No, I don't think you. You know, we, we just. And that was at 65 miles an hour. That, so maybe yeah. at like 55 you could make it. But that, I mean, it would be so tight. Okay. And we want the Land Cruiser. Yes, Land Cruiser. What else could we, we could do? The truck too. Well, thanks for your help, guys. Right. I I appreciate it. All right. And, um, I'm, I'm gonna. Uh, Hey guys, I'm gonna send Zach, okay? Zach is coming. Great, thanks, we're on our way there, thank you, bye. Here's the thing, if you're in Europe on small roads, slow speed limits, this might be doable. Yeah. Um, with short distances, but we're out here in the middle of Wyoming, right? With about 95 miles of next supercharger. And yes, we could make it, but we'd have to supercharge for so long. I mean, the better route planner was roughly 50% off in terms of how long we needed to supercharge at that one for. Yeah. And if that continues to be the case, we just won't make it by the end of tomorrow night. Yeah, yeah, it's just, we have to be there. We have a deadline. Uh, I, Andre has to be at an off-road expo. He's flying in and I have to go and judge the Automotive Video Awards. And I can't drive basically for the next 36 hours on the road and get there and then be a judge for the ABAs and do the videos. It's just not gonna work. So part of it I'm gonna take is our responsibility. We should have planned for more time. But um, yeah, I, it's, it's just, I think if you're not towing, it's fine. You know, yeah. But if you're towing, it, it's and you're on a deadline, it's just not doable. You know, it, if you guys have watched, like Tommy said, the European tow videos, where there, are, you know, I mean, this, this is there's nothing here, right? In Europe, you go 20 feet and you hit another Ubervelt or an Undervelt, right? Right. <laughs> here, just nothing. And if you run out of juice, you're done. I can see all the Tesla comments right now. You guys hate Tesla. No, we like, I actually like this Tesla. I mean, having talked to the two people on this trip that we met at the Superchargers, they were really nice and they really loved their cars. And the one theme that came across all the time, Tommy, was they love their cars because they're so fast, right? Yeah. And the problem is that doesn't translate to towing. Right. <laughs> it's great, you know, driving around town. And I love it too. But when it comes to towing, it's just using too much energy, unfortunately. Yeah, so let's just sum up what we've learned. We've learned that it's very stressful towing with a Tesla, at least if you're towing, you know. Long distance. Long distance in America, not in Europe, in America, where we have long distances with nothing. Um, the Tesla route planner doesn't work when towing. Yep, the built-in Tesla the, 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 the build, the, the better route planner is a better route planner in that it does work. Uh, but nevertheless, there's a lot of assumptions that you have to plug in. Plug in. Uh, on the plus side, we were able to supercharge even, you know, at the stations with a trailer. The people who own Teslas are kind of a cool little tribe of people who, um, you know, are blazing the way so that one day in America, towing is doable. But right now, unless like you're doing it for fun as a business, as the way we do it, it's just not there. That's exactly right. Do we need to put the, uh, the chalk to blocks so it doesn't roll? Yeah. Here comes Zach. Hey. Hey, you know, I think the Tesla people are going to hate the fact that we're being saved by a pickup truck. <laughs> Rubber rouser to the rescue. Rubber rouser to the rescue. There's just something right about like that and that. Sorry, Tesla guys. That's like peanut butter and jelly. That's like uh, peanut butter and what? Sardines. <laughs> At least now. All right, let's unhook. Oh, God. All right, can we, put this, can we put the truck over here? Actually, I'll just turn around this way. We don't block these, buddy. Bring the truck over here. Okay. 
Left. Right. Yep, works. Works. All right, so now we can drive to Portland non-stop. Well, for at least as long as we, me and Tommy can keep switching back and forth, which is a long time, you know, Tommy? Yeah, for sure. All right, so uh, back to old school. Dino juice. Dino juice, yeah. Time to go burn some dinosaurs. Let's get going, dude. We were supposed to start at 9 a.m. At 8 a.m., and it is now 3.30. Oh god. Alright. We still I think made up like three hours though. Yeah, Alright, sure. right, let's go. Super